Oh, Yo, what is up, everyone? Look how creamy this is. It looks like a milkshake, but it's actually a pre-workout mixed with collagen. Three scoops of collagen in here. It's so thick and I like it because it slows down absorption. It's a bit like the difference between drinking a black coffee and having a coffee with milk. Whenever I have a coffee with milk, I notice the coffee just gets absorbed a little bit slower and it just feels a little bit nicer. It's not too much of a rush. So um, today is day eight of Barley Shreds. Uh, this morning I weighed uh, 102.5. So I'm five kg down for the week. That's not really the best way to look at it because I'm comparing individual days and really what you wanna do is compare a seven day average, but we don't have a seven day average to work with yet. So that's what we're working with. And now half a kg doesn't sound that impressive, but when I look in the mirror, I, I can definitely see noticeable, visible improvements. You guys not might not be able to yet because um, it's my body and I know what to look for. But I would say last week was a win considering that I went to all you can eat three times last week. So the biggest room for improvement this week is definitely with nutrition. That seems to be a common theme with a lot of my clients right now is nutrition. I think that's where a lot of people mess up the most. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you've heard the saying, you can't out train a bad diet. And that's so true because for me, I can eat like 2000 calories in 10 minutes. But for me to burn 2000 calories can take hours, you know what I mean? So yeah, you definitely can't train a, out train a bad diet. Uh, I'm changing my nutrition this week as well. I've got a meal plan sorted now. Uh, I just got an Instagram ad for a meal prep company. So that food's gonna arrive today. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating um, for the rest of this week. And yeah, I'll see you at the gym. How are you, bro? You good? All right, guys. You know what day it is? Well, you're not gonna know what day it is, but I'm gonna tell you. It's International Chest Day, AKA Monday. So Mondays, it's illegal to train anything other than chest. We've got a red bar on here today. I don't know why the bar is red. And that means we're gonna hit some kind of PR. Well, I had a rest day yesterday and a lot of food last night. All you can eat, beef, buffalo, bison. Oh shit, it's gonna be a good session. Okay, set one, keeping it light, just 100 kg, nothing too heavy. Come on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Fuck. Ah. All right, set two. I've dropped it down to 90, so I'm gonna do uh, 80, sorry, 100, then 90, then 80. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, set three. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, done on there. Definitely. Okay, set one. Messing with the lights. Okay, set two. Okay, set three. Ah, okay, that's two pressing movements done for chest. Now I'm gonna do a fly. Oh, this is also called pec deck. I like this one because you can get a really good stretch on the chest. You can probably even see it. See my chest stretching out. Really feel the stretch at the bottom. And then feel the squeeze as you pull your hands together. I find it also helps if you look up on this one as well for some reason. All right, set two. Okay, last set on here. My chest is my chest is cooked. Definitely don't need to do any more chest for today. Okay, that is chest done. So I'm just gonna do one set for shoulders because I don't really care about growing my shoulders that much anymore. But today I'm not gonna do normal lateral raises. 
I'm gonna do full range of motion lateral raises, also known as Lou raises, named after some uh, Chinese Olympic weightlifter. So it's like a normal lateral raise, except you come all the way up. And the reason why I'm doing this is it's just better for shoulder health and shoulder mobility. But when you're doing this, you wanna go on a, a lighter weight. I'm actually feeling a little bit of shoulder impingement right now. So I might have to stop. I can feel my shoulder clicking, which is not good, obviously. No, I'm gonna have to stop that. So this is a good point actually, is if you're doing an exercise and you feel some kind of pain, which is not good pain, either it's like pain in a joint or a tendon or a ligament, or it's just not muscle pain, it's not lactic acid building up, then don't train through it, stop training. If you're training through pain, that's how you're just gonna get injured or make injuries worse or just overall exacerbate whatever problem you've got going on. I'm gonna try dropping the weight to see if I can still do it. But if not, I might have to not do this exercise. I still feel a popping in my shoulder. Ah, no. All right, I'm gonna have to do normal lateral raises, which is annoying. Because not so long ago I was able to do that, so maybe I just need to work on my shoulder mobility a little bit more. That's fine, no pain or shoulder impingement here. Okay, set two. Ah, uh, that shoulder's done. I'm only just gonna do two sets on there because like I said, I don't really care about getting my delts any bigger. Uh, my chest, my chest is fully cooked, to be honest. I'm gonna do a chest day later on in the week. I'm gonna do one or two arms days this week. So that's it. Four exercises, workout done. just got my meals delivered by Balanced Lane Bali. I got an Instagram ad for this and I'm a sucker for Instagram ads at the moment. Instagram seems to know what to show me. So this is two meals, okay? So I got two meals a day, lunch and dinner for five days, Monday to Friday for 1 million, which is about $70, I think. I'll put that on the screen if it, that's not correct. But um, for lunch today, I'll put this on screen as well, is Jamaican stew chicken with rice. So this is how it comes. Zoom in on that, mate. Mm. Obviously gonna heat this up in the microwave. Um, smells pretty good. Can't wait to try it. Macros I'll put on screen, but we're looking at 72 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, 43 grams of carbs for 590 calories. Let's heat it up. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is what we're dealing with. Get, get in on that. So it's 2.30. This is the first meal. 
This is only like, what, 600 calories? Like, and this is their double protein option. Obviously, I'm not gonna go for the single protein option. This is more like a snack, to be honest. Like, I don't often have a meal where it's just 600 calories. I would say my smallest meals are usually around 1,000 calories, but if I'm serious about getting lean, I'm gonna have to go onto the snack-only diet. So, this is my lunch. Let's do a quick taste test. Let's get some, some vegetables, some chicken. Let's go. <laughs> okay, time for my second and final meal of the day. Maple cinnamon fish, sweet potato mash, got a salad and even some vegetables sneaked in there. Looking pretty good. Macros and calories for this meal is protein 75, fats 7, and carbs 52. Total calories 604. So the macros in these meals are really good. First one tasted excellent. I've tried this just a little bit already. It tastes good. And um, each meal works out to be $6.30. So it's an insanely good deal. I can't believe how cheap it is and how good it is. This is gonna make dieting much easier because I just don't have to think about, mind you, I don't think about what I eat anyway. I usually eat the same foods every single day. Will I stick to it? I don't know. Let's just see how this week goes. Mmm. It's very good. So, so good. My total calories for the day are insanely low right now. Let's have a look. I've got some watermelon in the fridge and I had some this morning as well. But the two meals, two boxes of watermelon and a coconut water comes out at 1,499 calories. So not a lot of calories at all. I don't need to stick for the stick to this for too long to make some insane progress. Anyway, I am so hungry right now, so I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Bye.